All right, who's ready for Dr. Galena Migalko? You may have seen her in The Truth About Cancer, The Global Quest, this last year. She's a native of Ukraine, and she has garnered international recognition for her extraordinary clinical work and medical research in the early detection and treatment of cancer, heart disease, diabetes. Ladies and For her treatment of cancer, heart disease, diabetes, metabolic acidosis, circulatory and lymphatic issues, infertility, and other preventable and treatable health challenges. After graduating with a medical doctor from Uzgorod Medical University in Ukraine in 1988, Dr. Galina worked in several hospitals and wellness centers as a practitioner and administrator, perfecting her expertise in radiology and diagnostic imaging uh, procedures and evaluations. Dr. Galena has pioneered and developed a revolutionary comprehensive full body, non-invasive, non-radioactive, painless medical diagnostic scan. This scan includes a full body medical ultrasound, full body medical thermography, full body medical electro scan, a non-invasive blood analysis, and an interstitial metabolic pH test and much more. This is a really important lecture because people are always asking, what do I, what do I need to do to, to screen for cancer? What are the options to mammography? You're in the right place. Let's give Dr. Galena Magalco a huge welcome. Thank you. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to Ty Bollinger and everyone who organized this amazing live symposium and gave opportunity to incredible speakers to share their knowledge and their wisdom with millions all over the world. And today I would like to speak about uh, ultrasound, thermography, and other diagnostic about early detection using non-invasive, non-radioactive diagnostic medical imaging. Benjamin Franklin said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I truly believe that prevention is cure for cancer. Let's talk about prevention. When we talk to our patients, we address different issues. And we always start talking about spiritual and emotional health. Because if you cannot forgive someone, if you have anger, if you cannot relax, if you have fear, there is a blockage between body, mind, and spirit. It's very hard to achieve desirable results. We talk about stress reduction, because remember, stress is toxic. Stress is acidic, and it's measurable. If you measure your urine pH, and you have a couple hours of severe stress, you measure your urine pH again, and you will see that it's gonna go down to three points. And I did it many times, and the result is always the same. We talk about environment, not only environment around you, but also your internal environment. It's very important. You all know that you are what you eat. I would say that you are what you eat and what you drink and what you think and how you act. It's very important what kind of water you drink. It's supposed to be pure, healthy, clean, water in the right amount based on your body weight. It's very important what kind of food you eat. And based on our diagnostic scans before and after, we really see that plant-based, organic, GMO-free nutrition really works. Supplements, very, very important. Mike Adams was uh, mentioning and demonstrating what each element does to your body by producing sound. So give yourself magnesium so every cell in your body will sing a beautiful song. Dr. Mercola was talking about vitamin D uh, deficiency. It's very important to take right amount to prevent cancer. 
detox everything we do, we produce acid. You exercise, you eat, you think, you produce toxic uh, acidic waste products, so you need to detox that. You need to uh, do it through breathing, through perspiration, through defecation and urination, and it's very, very important. Exercise, all kind of exercise is good for you, but make sure you don't overdo it. When we do a, a thermography, we see a lot of lymphatic uh, congestion, and we uh, suggest to do very simple rebounding. 15 minutes twice a day, very beneficial, and we see great results. And again, today we're gonna talk about uh, diagnostic uh, imaging without radiation, and I hope you're gonna learn a lot and make a good decision and say no to uh, harmful screening like mammograms. And again, doctors, why we're talking about doctors here? Because I want you to find a good doctor you can trust, doctor who will listen, doctor who will help you in a good way, doctor who will use his medical training but also will be open-minded to talk about nutrition, detoxification, and everything I mentioned. So let's talk about diagnostic tests. Thermography is test of physiology. Ultrasound, CT scan, mammogram, MRI test of anatomy. And bioelectroscan is functional test. So let's stop on each of them. A lot of patients will come to me and say, Dr. Galina, this mammogram I had is so painful, so uncomfortable. I never had experience with mammogram myself. As a medical doctor, I never had a mammogram, and I never will. But I just know about better alternative, and I would like to share it with you. So the painful compression of the breast, if there is a cancerous tumor in your breast, may literally spread cancer. And remember that mammogram uses ionized radiation, and radiation known to cause cancer. The premenopausal breast is highly sensitive to radiation. Each annual mammogram exam increases breast cancer risk by 1% or more. Danish Medical Association published the scientific basis for mammography screening is very uncertain. We cannot exclude the possibility that screening does more harm than good. Canadian study in 19, uh, Canadian study was also showing that mam mammography is not beneficial and can increase the possibility of breast cancer by 52%. Lancet Prestige Journal was publishing that screening with mammography is unjustified. No decrease in breast cancer mortality. Actually, it's increasing possibility of breast cancer by 4%. Dr. Maktar said, our data shows that there is no evidence of a positive effect of the mammogram screening on breast cancer mortality at the population level over the observation of 40 years. If you look at this slide, you see that cancers divide every 90 days. So it's a process of eight to 10 years. And when we see a mass through an anatomical screening like mammogram or even ultrasound, it's already mass with billion cells in it. So it's a process on maybe seventh years compared to thermography when we can see it and detect that activity uh, when temperatures go up on the second year when it's only maybe more than 200 cells. So we all know that early detection saves lives, but mammograms are not early detection. So Peter Gotchi said the single most effective way to decrease women's risk of becoming a breast cancer 
patient is to avoid mammograms. Uh, when your doctor suggests you to have a mammogram, I wish they will disclose the truth to you. So you know that the beautiful word a mammogram actually means an X-ray of the breast and may potentially increase uh, a risk of breast cancer. You need to know that mammogram can be false positive. If radiologists will say that uh, there is a, uh, there is a cancer present, but actually there is no cancer activity, okay? And what that means, it leads to overdiagnosis and overtreatment, leads to biopsy, surgery, uh, radiation, and chemotherapy. Or mammogram can be false negative. That means that uh, when mammogram is normal, but actually there is cancer present, and this is what we can detect with uh, thermography. So you need to know that overall screen mammograms miss about 40% of cancer. How about CT scan? To scan or not to scan? As a medical doctor, I understand that there is pathology uh, we can visualize much better with CT scan. So what I'm trying to talk about is not to overprescribe CT scan. You need to remember that CT scan using ionized radiation. And this is just a very good example. For example, if with ultrasound and MRI, uh, there is, it's equal to zero days of natural radiation and zero hours of flying compared to CT scan of the lower back, it's equal to 511 days of radiation and more than 400 hours of flying. So we understand that CT scan using radiation. Studies have found that CT scan expose human body to dangerous radiation and may cause from 24 to 35% increasing any cancerous condition. British Medical Journal study in 2013 published. Researchers followed about 11 million subjects from birth to young adulthood, identifying 680 thousands who had at least one CT scan. And those who underwent a CT scan at some point in the childhood increased the risk of developing cancer to 24%. And if they had more CT scan, that percentage was actually higher. MRI, this is just an example of MRI screening. MRI is actually very sensitive and does not use ionized radiation, but it's pretty expensive. Not a lot of physicians trained to give a quality interpretation. And it's a tube uh, where a patient goes to and may feel claustrophobic. Also, pictures can be affected by movement, by breathing, by coughing. And again, doctors don't want to prescribe MRI and ultrasound before they send you for a mammogram. So if you go for a biopsy, you need to understand the needle will go through skin layer, through a fat layer, through muscle, through lymphatics and blood, uh, blood vessels, and through mass itself. And if this is a cancerous mass, there is a possibility to spread it. And I would like to share a couple case studies. This person had a severe lymphedema from uh, lymph node biopsy. Unfortunately, she died two months after. Another case, beautiful lady, I was screening in India. She was 30 weeks uh, pregnant when she came for a thermogram. And what I see, black, uh, I'm sorry, white left breast represents hot breast. White is very hot. So the story was when she was 20 weeks pregnant, she had very tiny, small lump, and she felt great, but she wanted to consult with her Abidjan doctor. So she went to a doctor, and doctor biopsied that breast, and that's what I saw. It spread all over her breast and all over her body, and then they wanted to do a chemo, 
and they said, it's safe for you and the baby. She died several weeks later. So she didn't survive, and baby didn't survive. Very, very sad. So after 30 years, 30 plus years of working with medical diagnostics and running diagnostic medi medical imaging centers, doing mostly anatomical scans, I realized that if you as a patient will come and you say, I have abdominal pain, and your doctor will say, okay, go ahead and do abdominal ultrasound. I will do your ultrasound, and there is no mass, no cyst, no calcifications, and you came with your pain, and you left home with pain, and we didn't answer your question. That's why I was searching all over the world for complementary, non-invasive diagnostic scans, and I decided to put them together to complement each other and perform it at the same appointment time. So when you as a patient come to us, we do a full body thermography, full body ultrasound, full body bioelectro scan, and non-invasive blood analysis. Let me talk a little bit more about each of them. Test of physiology is thermography. So thermography is an adjunctive test approved by FDA to another anatomical test, and we like to use uh, ultrasound together with thermography. Thermography uses uh, infrared imaging. Thermography is completely non-invasive and um, without radiation, and is a great aid to diagnose, prognose, and follow up with treatment progress. This is the only imaging to visualize pain and lymphatic congestion, and the most important, inflammation. So what you see on the screen, it's not computer-generated image, it's your body. And after we explain what those colors mean, you really understand what's going on. It's great motivation. So this is thermography camera, monitor, and medical software. So again, no squeezing, no x-ray, and nothing touches you. And thermography is not new. It was used by Hippocrates. So physicians would play, would play uh, wet mud or clay on patient's body, and the area which dry first would consider a problematic area. So Hippocrates said that should one part of the body be colder or hotter than the other, disease is present in that part. So we see hot colors and cold colors. When we see hot, we, we think about inflammation, lymphatic congestion, about acute uh, problem, maybe infection. And cold may represent poor circulation, chronic condition, benign tumor, and more. Uh, we can do breast thermography only, and we can scan a whole body. So I'm going to show you a few images. You see normal breast. It's cooler than the rest of the body, that's why it's blue, and it's very symmetrical compared to breast cancer thermographic picture. I would like to uh, talk about this image. One month ago, this lady came for checkup, and as soon as I saw her breast, I knew there is serious pathology there because temperature was 1.34 Celsius and normal is 0.3. It's very uh, severe abnormality. So what I did immediately, I immediately did an ultrasound. An ultrasound was negative. That means that if this patient will go for mammogram, mammogram will be negative this year and next year and maybe several years after that until we see a mess. So what we did, we sent this patient for oncoblood and oncoblood came positive for breast cancer. She was panicking, Dr. Galina, what should I do? I said, start with natural approach, lifestyle, diet, and everything I talk about, uh, uh, prevention, and she did. And two days before my trip, she came for follow-up screening, and you see before and after. It's not completely normal, but this is why we do thermography and we do follow-up to see if whatever you do is working for you. So you see that the difference is much less. Temperature from 1.3 went down to 0 0.6, and 0 0.3 is normal, so she is on the right path. And then she said, I wanted to do everything you uh, uh, recommended to do, but I wasn't 100% doing it, but after seeing this result, I'm 100% in. So that was... 
she made my day. Another, uh, another picture of the breast cancer, now you can understand that, that's a sarcoma. And actually, I, f I hope that I have more time to talk about this case because this lady had wonderful result and he's healthy and happy now. Uh, another case of uh, left and right breast cancer, and I would like to talk more about this one. Unique, unique case. Again, she came from another country. The only choice she had in that country was complete mastectomy. She had 14 centimeters tumor in her left breast. Temperature was two centimeters, uh, two uh, Celsius instead of 0 0.3. So. I did ultrasound and thermography. When we do ultrasound, we see location of the mass, blood supply, uh, all anatomical information, and thermography shows if there is hyperthermia over that area. I feel blessed that I met this patient for several reasons. First of all, she asked me to drive the long distance every week to take follow-up picture with thermography and ultrasound, and I did. And because of that, we have an amazing study of eight weeks progress from the beginning on the left to the end, eight weeks reduction of breast cancer. And plus, she had great motivation, family support, belief, goal. I never saw any patients following 100% the program. A lot of people asking me what kind of program. She was on plant-based pH miracle program supervised by licensed physicians. And if you will, would like to learn more about it, read pH miracle by Dr. Robert Young. Uh, another uh, example of medical doctor who was diagnosed with breast cancer. She had lumpectomy, chemo, radiation, and then she came to us and she said, I don't feel good. My colleagues say that I'm cancer free, but it doesn't feel like I'm well. So we did thermography and now you can tell that this is abnormal breast. Everything she did except changing her lifestyle and diet. And after learning more about it, she applied it to her routine. And 10 weeks later, this is a follow-up uh, picture. And I'm so glad that she's a medical doctor and she changed her paradigm and now she's teaching her patients how to live a healthy life. This is just case of melanoma. I put real pictures with thermography pictures just for you to understand what we see in relationship to actual pathology. Uh, thyroid cancer before and after, you obviously see result. Squamous cell carcinoma, this is a car salesman holding uh, Bluetooth 24 seven in his ear, got cancer. Be careful, I see women holding cell phone close to their breast. Do not do this because I have real patients who died. Osteosarcoma. And I want you to know that we can do thermography for any age. This beautiful baby I saw in Hungary. When we came to this wellness retreat, mother came with six month old beautiful girl who was seizuring and she was on some kind of toxic baby's formula. And I did thermography and she had a lot of hyperthermia in her abdominal area. So when I talked to mother, we realized that baby has severe constipation. So just by doing enemas and literally giving baby green juices to, de to detoxify and change her formula, three days after you see that inflammation is gone, baby starts smiling and baby didn't have seizures anymore. severe inflammation, breast area, chest, upper abdomen. You literally can see the shape of the transfer, uh, transverse colon very inflamed. Uh, patient from Italy, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, you see before and after in one week. Uh, inflammation in ascending and descending colon. This is my friend, when I talked to him in my country, he was holding 
his hand like this, and I said, what, what, what's wrong? He said, I have severe pain, I have uh, dental problems, I need to do something about it. I said, can I do complementary thermography shot? And when I saw this, I would like you to understand that dental health is so important. You see inflammation from every, every tooth going down by meridians and connecting with every organ. Before and after several lymphatic massages, when we see right, uh, red hands may represent arthritis, inflammation, or diabetes. This patient, breast cancer patient from England with severe poor circulation to lower extremities. Uh, we can see varicose veins, and even when you don't see it visually, uh, thermography can pick it up. Very interesting, this patient had uh, knee replacement on left and right, uh, knee, but only left knee was showing severe inflammation. So ultrasound is test of anatomy. Uh, if we use infrared light with thermography, then we use high frequency sound with ultrasound. Again, ultrasound doesn't use radiation and it's very, very safe. When I started uh, doing ultrasound many years ago, I called all these machines elephants. They were so huge. Uh, it was very hard to take them to a patient's room or ICU. Now I travel all over the world with a laptop size ultrasound machine and all my equipment. And I know that now it's available to buy a pocket ultrasound and I really hope that medical diagnostic ultrasound will be the stethoscope of the future. And every doctor will learn this course in medical school and use it in their offices and ER. So we do a full body ultrasound. We can scan uh, pregnancy, and you all know that. We can see fetus from the size of the bean with heartbeat until 40 weeks of pregnancy. We can scan your thyroid to rule out any anatomical pathology like tumors or cysts or calcification. This is normal thyroid compared to thyroid mass uh, with ultrasound and thermography, you can see it. Uh, and we know that there is a link between thyroid health and thyroid cancer and breast cancer. When I scan cancer patients, every patient is hypothyroid, 99%, and iodine deficient. We can scan your carotid artery to rule out blockages and to prevent stroke. We can see fluid in your body around your lungs, pleural fusion or around your abdominal area ascites. We can scan the health of your liver, fatty liver, uh, portal vein thrombosis, uh, different type of tumors, benign or malignant, and metastasis in your liver, stones, polyps in your gallbladder, kidney stones, kidney cysts, kidney mass. We can see if there is a blood supply to your mass. Uh, we can check your spleen, we can check your ovaries and see all kinds of different ovarian pathology. We can check your uterus transabdominally or transvaginally. And we can see your prostate transabdominally or transrectally to see if there is a nodule, there is blood supply, calcification, any kind of prostate pathology. And of course, breast, cyst of the breast, complex cyst of the breast, benign tumors or tumors with calcifications. It's very suspicious findings. And on this picture, you can see normal mammogram and abnormal ultrasound. So that's what we do. For thermography, you just stay in front, stand in front of the camera, nothing will touch you. We take a picture and you see your body on a big screen TV. For ultrasound, you just lay down, we put a little bit of gel and there is no radiation, very pleasant, very relaxed procedure. So mammography is about 52, to 76% sensitive with radiation. Uh, ultrasound is about 95 plus percent sensitive without radiation. Ultrasound and thermography, about 96 to 98% sensitive without using ionized radiation. So again, when you do mammogram, your breast is squeezed and uh, X-ray is taken from different positions. So the question is, is that a life-saving test or outdated technology? 
So we don't tell you what to do. After knowing this information, you make your choice. And by the way, one of the speakers at this symposium, Dr. Ben Johnson, just released his bestseller book, No Mammogram. Please read to get more information. When we talk about functional tests, we use bioelectroskin. If doctors uh, usually use blood tests or urine tests or saliva tests to get lots of information, we check your interstitial fluid. What is interstitial fluid? Interstitial fluid is fluid around your cell. So uh, this is what we do, and it's very unique, very accurate, very sensitive test. So we use electrodes, uh, frequency will run through the interstitial fluid of your body to get information from every organ, every system. It was designed for NASA, very accurate, very informative test, so we can check your cardiovascular, respiratory, digestive system, brain function, nervous system, and this test will prioritize your problem, telling us, telling us like, oh, digestive system giving us the biggest problem. And, uh, you know, we can see if you're in metabolic acidosis or metabolic alkalosis. Uh, we can see if your cells are hydrated or dehydrated. We have unique number we call phase angle. It's electrical potential and conductivity of your cells. So this is my latest patient. I want to explain it to you. I put together blood analysis and interstitial fluid analysis, and you can see that in blood analysis, it's white section, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and even pH uh, of the blood are normal. Actually, pH of the blood a little bit low, but interstitial fluid was showing this, this patient is severe metabolic acidosis. And in interstitial fluid, it was a spike of calcium, magnesium, and potassium. The question is why it's normal in the blood and abnormal in your interstitial fluid. Why? Because if you are in metabolic acidosis, in other words, your body is very acidic, and you, body, will, body is the best pharmacy in the world, and will do everything possible to maintain delicate pH of your blood. And if you don't give your body what body needs, body will use your reserves. Body will go to your muscles, take magnesium and use it. Go to your bones and teeth, take calcium and use it. That's why you have, you see the spine is very red because bone density is reduced and patients intracellular water is very low, and face angle is 3.7 instead of 7.2, so this patient is in trouble. Uh, and now I want to talk briefly about very amazing, very unusual, hard to believe, non-invasive blood analysis. Yes, non-invasive blood analysis means that we're not going to take your blood, but we're going to get more than 130 parameters of the blood, okay, in three to five minutes, very safe for you, uh, it's not invasive, and we get immediate results. And not only that, if you take regular blood analysis and show to 10 different doctors, you may have slightly different opinion. So this system will analyze all the data and give us preliminary diagnosis, so doctor not going to miss anything. So we can check uh, blood chemistry and we can check uh, blood pH and uh, uh, stomach pH and we can see cell mitosis and we can see liver functions and we can even tell you if animal uh, protein is good for you because we have those readings too and we understand why. Maybe sphincter of Audi is very tight and you don't have help from pancreatic juice and bile duct in order to help your digestion and much more. So after we do a full body scan with all these modalities, we will sit down with you and together look at every number. And it's not only to tell you this is what's wrong and this is what, we want you to understand. 
we want you to have this education to empower you so you know what to do. And obviously you will ask questions, what do you suggest? And what we suggest is not really what we learn in medical school, but what we learn uh, for more than 30 years doing before and after. Because if you will come back after you did something, doesn't matter if it's a nutritional approach or a Western approach or a combination of both, you want to know if it works for you. And this is what we do. So we will send you 50 pages of information for you to study. So in medical school, we have thousands of hours to learn how to fight off disease and death and no hours at all on how to live a healthy life. So this is a real patient, very famous baseball player. He was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And after I finished full body scan, he was sitting in this position, holding his head and saying to me, Dr. Galina, I wish I would take much better care of myself so I don't need to go through all this and my family too. He died, his family suffered, and I know how it feels because I lost my father due to stomach cancer. I lost my beloved brother due to pancreatic cancer. I lost my best friend due to colon cancer. They died in my arms. And I analyze what was their lifestyle, diet, stress level, and even treatment options. And I know what was wrong. That's why my message to you is learn, use health education instead of medication and radiation. Don't wait. <laughs> Don't wait until it's too late because cancer is curable if detected early. And skin like thermography is early detection and may save life. And this life can be yours. Thank you.